looks like north we have a SATCOM array. Right, we have Fort Constantine here. We've been there recently. Explored that whole area, found the last bobblehead. But we still have this SATCOM array to visit and a couple of locations out here, a radio tower and a train tunnel. So let's head north. Let's just... In all things, a calm heart must prevail. Let's just head north. I'll go this way. several reds. There is reason to yeah, be I know. cautious Thank here. Thank you, Fox. It's probably raiders with a guard dog. The dog won't attack us. But the raiders will. I'm being careful, Fox. Thank you. Mini nuke in the bathtub. Stim packs. Birds flying around it. Ah, there's Enclave down there. What we could do. Aw, oh, come on. No chance to hit him with a nuclear grenade, really? I heard something like a robot out behind us. Anybody else over there? Nope. We can go loot their stuff now. Uh -huh. 
In all things, a calm heart must prevail. Okay, I'm hearing a bird a bird. There's a skeleton here. Another skeleton. Oh, a bunch of skeletons. Why were they here guarding this puddle? <laughs> Doesn't seem like a really great tactical position, dudes. We should be mindful. Maybe there's more of them up here at the satellite. Let's be cautious. again I don't know I don't see raider sign I don't see a bunch of dead bodies or graffiti or anything. Let's see who's inside. Oh, it's Talon Company. There's a wastelander. Will my ghoul mask work on that wastelander? No. Uh, this is weird. She's not attacking me, but she's in red. Only what? She's a ghoul. Aww. Oh jeez, Fox. Okay, I guess she was an enemy. I mean, yeah, she was in red, but she was just trying to run away. She wasn't trying to shoot at us. Your type. Now I release you. Well, I guess it was a turret. Who the heck is this? High water trousers activation code. What? Satcom array coordinates. Satcom array coordinates. Scientist outfit. All right, I'll take that. What in the world does all of that mean? Empty soda bottle. 
Health. Okay, Chinese Army Spec Ops Training Manual. I'll take it. Oh, wow. We have log entries. Turns out I don't have specific data on my satellite, but the registration format suggests that it's a stationary micronuclear weapons platform. Tracking data appears to confirm this. The thing hasn't moved in the week I've been tracking it. Without a targeting platform at my disposal, sending an activation code would only cause it to drop a payload directly on top of this area. Not exactly what I'm aiming for, but I'll keep the codes handy just in case. What a lucky break. I pinged an orbiting body successfully today. Registration ID is US DOD blah 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 blah. Call sign Highwater Trouser. I'll begin tracking it and cross-reference the registration information with the data I've got. First attempts at atmospheric pinging return negative. Considering that the motivators are still non-functional, it's going to be difficult to catch much of anything that doesn't pass directly over us. Still, I cannot rule out other mechanical failure. I haven't got much astronomical reference material with me, but maybe I can find an old chart and wait until a celestial body passes over to confirm signal. Of course, that may take years. I'll have to keep working on the motivators. Finally got to begin on my work in earnest today. Dish motivators are offline, but I was able to input some basic coordinates and ping nearby SATCOM arrays to the southwest and east. There was some interference pinging the NN-03D array. That's the one I visited that had a bunch of raiders in it. There was like a, there was a cluster of three satellite dishes there. Probably rad roaches or something making a nest in the dishes. I think it was all the empty whiskey bottles. It may be worth sending one or two of the mercs over there to clean it out in case I can use those towers to amplify my own signal. There were dozens of military satellites in orbit just from the old records I found in the ruins. There must have been hundreds before the war. If I can find just a few operational platforms. All right, so she was a ghoul scientist from the war times and she was helping the Talon mercenaries to get a nuke operational maybe because when we were at Fort Constantine which is very close to this area because there's there's Fort Constantine and then there's all these satellite arrays around it we tried to use the launch codes to launch a nuclear missile and it didn't work Maybe if we had come here first and gotten these other codes and then tried to launch a nuke from Fort Constantine, something would have happened. Thanks to a little creative wiring, I was able to tap us into a power source. They're less common up here, but if you know where to look, there are still plenty of live power lines buried all over the wasteland. For all their arrogance, they knew a thing or two about engineering before the bombs. I have to admit, it's remarkable that there's still power to be had after all these years. Now that we've got all the power we'd want, I can bring our defensive turret online and try to get the dish motors operational. Nothing says equality like a fistful of caps. I think these Talon Company mercs are about the most cordial smoothies I've met as long as their boss is getting paid. Luckily, money's no issue. I've hoarded plenty of it up since before these guys' parents were knee-high on a Brahmin. Of course, if I succeed in this, it won't matter how many caps any of these rat bastards have. Disconnect user, no entry. All right. So I guess she was trying to get the nuclear launch missiles working again. And she was paying the Talon mercs to help her. But why? Oh, 
turret control system. All right, well, I think Fox already shot the turrets, so I'm not gonna bother with that. All right, let's go up and up. if there'll be more Talon Mercs up in the satellite dish. Satellite control terminal. Right, let's check this out. Enter new positioning data. Decrypt coordinates. Satcom array. Northwest 07. Decrypt coordinates, SATCOM array, north, north, 03, I don't know. I'm assuming that's what that stands for. I don't know. Upload high water trousers activation. Do we want to do that? Uh, okay. Decrypt coordinates, SATCOM array, and then 03. These are the high water trousers activation code numbers. I don't know what the other what the other things were. Trousers activation, I guess. Targeting data none. Commencing launch. Enter new positioning data. Dish motivators offline. Probably shouldn't be messing around with nuclear bomb stuff. I just bomb. Oh dang. Uh that was probably bad. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. It says I'm still very good, so I didn't lose karma. Or at least not too much karma. I didn't see any lost karma notification. Uh, oops. I reload? I don't know what I just did. Yeah, Be aware of the present that was moment. probably a bad idea for me to be messing with launch codes. Uh, okay, so uh, I feel bad about that. I shouldn't have done it. <laughs> uh, it's probably bad to mess with nuclear missile launches when I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where the missiles were sent. I don't know if it affects anything else in the game. I mean, I didn't seem to lose any karma. Uh, so I don't know what just happened there. Should I reload?
I want to try to see where the missile... What happens to the missiles, though? Your life here is done! Oh, oh, shit. Here is done. That's where the missiles went. They all hit right here. They all seem to hit right along here. All right, well then they didn't hit any cities or anything. That's good to know. There are times that I feel the primal part of me pulling me away. It's kind of weird that we reloaded though and we came out and this dude didn't have his outfit on. I mean, it's there, but it wasn't equipped. That's really strange. <laughs> I mean, we had looted it from him, but then we reloaded. And somehow he didn't put it on. All right, well. I guess that's that. Weird. <laughs> 